We stir a cocktail when it has no juices, when it's mainly just spirit. Hi, I'm Derek Schomer, owner of AwesomeDrace.com, host of Common Mac Cocktails, and welcome to my three-minute education series. You can check out more videos just like this at AwesomeDrace.com slash three. We're going to stir this just for practice, so I suggest you do this at home if you've never stirred a cocktail. You just picked up a cocktail mixing glass from us or someplace else, and you got a nice bar spoon and you want to figure out how to do it. Basically what you're going to do is you're going to pull towards you and push away, pull towards you and push away. And you're going to do that by putting the spoon between two of your fingers. Some people do it here, some people do it here. This is awkward to me, but I could probably get used to it. You're going to always have the flat of the spoon against the glass. We're going to make our virtual non-alcoholic Manhattan. For this, typically my ice is a little, a little weak. But you usually go about two thirds full. You could use bigger pieces of ice. I don't suggest crushed ice when working with stirred beverages, primarily because the surface area is so intense, the dilution is gonna be so quick, it's gonna be so cold, but you're gonna end up with a watered down drink. Snug your little uh, spoon in there like that and repeat the process. And it seems like it will be easy, but a lot of the times you end up doing weird things with your arms and it's all weird push, pull. If you keep pushing a little bit of pressure against the glass, it helps it stick. And you don't need your arm for this. There shouldn't be a lot of movement of your arm. It's in the wrist. What you may end up doing is starting to do this and using your whole arm to stir and it feels right, but you'll never get the speed and agility and you lose control quickly. Don't put your hand on the glass like this to test it, see if it's cold because now you're just adding warmth to the beverage. You want to keep it here. You can hold it in the bottom so it doesn't go flying out of your control. And you stir that sucker for about 30 seconds. You'll know because it feels cold, icy to the touch. Got a nice fog forming on the edge of the glass and you're done. Now you're going to find that the optimal temperature for a cocktail is between 28 degrees Fahrenheit and 30. You're never going to get there with a 30 second stir, two minutes, three minutes, yes but nobody wants to wait that long. So you're typically gonna stir 30 seconds to a minute. A cocktail chemist and bartender and bartender owner, Dave Arnold, has done experiments on this. For more on the science to that, link below. You could use a julep strainer, also available at austrace.com, of course, to be able to withhold that ice. If you don't have one of those, usually a spring-based strainer will work, but sometimes the springs won't fit in all the way. Sometimes with ours, it'll be kind of a perfect fit, but the spring size may vary and it could damage the springs or bend some of the strainers. So just be careful with that, but it should work. Or if you want to get real pro, you could go like this. Let's see if I could be pro. Sweet, that's pro. I got links to some more three minute videos. There's a bartender starter kit you can pick up. That's it, we're teaching you how to drink.